What's going on everybody? My name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Bulls Nation, today we are going to be discussing whether or not Ayo Dosumu has a, I guess, issue in which he may not be able to play for the Chicago Bulls or let's say get into the rotation for the Chicago Bulls. Now at the end of the day, we have a lot of guards. Literally a lot of guards. We had more guards, I believe, this season. Pretty much the exact same guards, actually. You get rid of Patrick Beverly, you bring in Javon Carter. So all of a sudden, you have a lot of guards filled into the Chicago Bulls team, and you don't have that many spots in the guard position. So that goes to ask, who's going to be the one missing out? And is that person going to be Ayo Dosumu? But before we get any further, if you like the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow, and or subscribe if you are new. And comment down below your thoughts about Ayo Dosumu and whether or not you believe he will be, I guess, the odd man out. If he will be the guy missing the rotation, if he's not going to get minutes for the Chicago Bulls. Because there's a lot to decipher there. But let me start off by saying this. I predicted Ayo Dosumu to be a, a, my surprise player of the season. In the sense that if there's anybody that's going to shock the Bulls, I think it would be Ayo Dosumu. Now, again, I don't think he's going to be that player that jumps from 8 points to 16 points and becomes that juggernaut on the offensive end and becomes that true starting point guard. I don't see that happening. But at the same time, I do believe he's going to surprise a lot of people because he has a big point to prove this season. Again, when he came in to the Chicago Bulls team in the second round, everybody thought that that was a little bit too low for Ayodosumu in the sense that he should have went in the first round. Ayodosumu felt that way as well. So he came into the season with a point to prove, and oh boy, did he prove that point. Now, in the second season, he made his validations. He became a starter in the NBA, and that sophomore season kind of kicked in for him. And that brick wall maybe had, was there for Ayodosumu that he couldn't jump over in his second season. But normally... The third season is where people really start to build themselves into the player that they want to be. And the development of that player is going to continue to rise. And you're hoping that there's no limitations toward Ayodosumu's season in his upcoming season with the Bulls in his third season. Plus, he did get signed into the Bulls team this free agency extremely late. And again, to the point where Ayodosumu didn't even know he was going to be picked up by the Bulls. That's how late it was. He had his own reservations about coming back to this Bulls team. That's something that's not going to slip out of his mind so easily. So he has a lot of points to prove, and he does have a really, really strong chance, in my opinion, to be that surprise player and to come in, be extremely efficient, have a point to prove, not take any prisoners, not be stagnant, go all in and extremely aggressive towards what he wants to achieve for the Bulls. But in saying that, I must also admit, it's not going to be easy for Ayo Dosumu. And I'm going to reference the first season as an example of this because the way that Ayo Dosumu's first season went was truly astonishing, in my opinion. There's not many players that goes... From garbage time, two minutes a game, maybe sometimes getting rotational pieces to instantly becoming a starter for the Bulls and finishing out the season with that. And Billy Donovan completely, get, I guess, gave that trust in Ayo Dosumu and I earned that trust from Billy Donovan. So I think it's going to be a very, very, very similar season for Ayo Dosumu in his third season. Because let's be honest, if you're looking at the pecking order here, Throughout all the guards that we have, point and shooting guard, you got Kobe White, that I think is ahead of the pecking order, ahead of Ayo Dosumu. Obviously, Zach Levine is going to be. If you consider DeMar DeRozan a guard, obviously he will be. You've got Javon Carter there, that a lot of people want to see the Bulls start. You've got Alex Caruso, an All-NBA first-team defender. You've got, obviously, Ayo Dosumu there as well. Even Carly Jones is someone that is worth competing for if his contract is going to be guaranteed, and he has had a good rise to his own game. There's a lot of guards on this team with not a lot of minutes to go around, and I'm pretty sure I've probably, I've probably missed somebody as well in terms of those Bulls guards. So again, it's going to be a situation where I feel like Ayo Dosumu is going to start off the season, I guess, with lackluster minutes, with minutes that people won't be happy about with minutes that maybe doesn't necessarily reflect how well he could be doing in a situation in training camp. Or when he gets an opportunity, he might not be able to fulfill those games at the beginning. But I think exactly what happened in his first season is going to happen again. He's going to build his way and develop that trust again in Billy Donovan to trust him to maybe start some games or to trust him in big moments, to trust him for a stop, to bring some energy into the team when we need some energy. Maybe if we need some transition points, you bring in Ayo Dosumu and start developing that trust with him again. 
And that's how I think Ayodesuma is going to start really surprising people again by getting more trust from Billy Donovan, by earning his way into the rotation, by getting more and more and more and more minutes. Another thing we can reflect we can reflect it to is how Kobe White viewed his fourth season for the Chicago Bulls last season. The way that Kobe White kind of handled last season, we all forget that at the beginning of that season, he barely got minutes for the Chicago Bulls. He maybe had 10 or 11 minutes per game. But most of the time, if he wasn't scoring, he was taken out of the game. He wasn't playing at the beginning of the season that often. And it just depended on whether or not he had the hot hand or not. If he had the hot hand, great. Come in, play your 20 minutes. If you didn't have the hot hand, you're only playing 10. You're sitting on the bench. But he earned his way to consistent minutes through defense, through playmaking, through being able to be a guy that you can't take out of a game because he can make the difference on the offensive and defensive end. That's what Kobe White turned into towards the end of the season. But at the beginning, he wasn't playing. I, in my opinion, has a very strong chance in replicating what Kobe White kind of did last season into this upcoming season. And I'm hoping that's what's going to happen because I don't want to see a disappointment in Ayo Dosumu. I don't want to see someone that we're considering a bust or someone that we're considering will not get anywhere or someone that is just considered an average role player that most teams wouldn't really want to pick up. We don't want to see that for Ayo Dosumu. And I think there's so much more to his game than just that average role player. But it's going to be up to him to bring that out. And he's going to have to start earning trust from the minutes that he gets, however many it may be, to earning that trust and gaining more of it in the future. That's how I see Ayo Dosumu's season going for the Chicago Bulls. That's why I see him as my most surprising player of the season already. Hopefully, he can live up to that name. Hopefully, I'm not proven wrong. And we'll have to wait and see how that season goes for Io and how that season will go for the Bulls. And I've got to mention as well, Io seems like the type of guy, attitude-wise, that's willing to take all of this on board. It's not like I'm saying it's all or nothing for Io, but there's a lot of pressure on his name. I'm giving a lot of pressure on his name. A lot of other Bulls content creators are giving pressure on his name. Bulls fans are putting pressure on his name. And I'm very positive that the management and the coaching staff are putting pressure on his name. But he seems like the type of guy that can handle that pressure. And in fact, maybe even thrive on that pressure. But in the very short two seasons that we've seen from him, I think when pressure is on, it's probably when IMO succeeds. So let's wait and see. Let's see if that's how it's going to be. But I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. Drop a like and a follow and or subscribe if you are new. See you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.